AltSchool is a new company that's trying to disrupt primary education. We're here at the classroom to figure out what makes it different. I'm, I'm really curious, this is sort of one big room, but all these different sections. How do the kids interact with this and, and what makes this so different? This is not really that different from a really good early childhood classroom because early childhood classrooms are really centered on believing that the child is a competent learner and can drive their own learning. And good early childhood classrooms are really built on the child's curiosity. So what we know is, is that children love preschool. They build things, they make friends, they expand their world. And often when they go into the upper grades, learning loses some of its joy. And so one of the points of alt school is to make learning joyous. And the way that we do that is we keep our eyes on the children. We want our learning to be child-centered, and we expose the children to many, many different things. We know when we do that and when we scaffold their experiences that they will drive their own learning. Are you finding that children kind of move from from different activity to activity, or are they kind of structured, and how do you organize that? Well, different children need different levels of structure, but one thing all of our children have is they have a playlist. And a playlist tells them every morning when they come in a menu of activities from which they can choose. And some of those activities might be creating things at the art center or building things in the design center. And they might be building with large blocks. They might be building with Legos or small blocks. They might be drawing a mural on the wall. We started out with three columns, the to-do, the doing, which I changed to partially done, and the done. But then I added on a whole bunch. So you added some of these yourself? Yeah. Can you give us an example of something that's on your playlist? And All right, so what I have, let's see, is to listen to the song about counting to 50 in Spanish. Then there's a link on it. And you hit the thing, and we'll just pretend I watched the video. Then there's a checklist, and you check off the thing. And that's how it works, and then I would move this to done, then add a done label onto it, right here. So Lauren, tell me a little bit about Alt School from the teacher's perspective. What makes it different and, and how do you really think that this is pushing education in a new way? I think it offers the children a really personalized experience from the time of day that they're able to do things like I have children drawing and practicing butterflies over here to children working in their math workbooks over there to making a video over here so I think it offers them that flexibility with their day. They get exposure to a lot of different friendships, a lot of different relationships, a lot of different kinds of work, right? So you could have a five-year-old and an eight-year-old working together on a project and they can be mentoring each other in different ways. Um, you can have peer-to-peer -peer relationships. So many different kinds of children come through our program. At our school this year, we have about 20 children and we have a child who likes to work in smaller spaces. So. He has a, his own private desk over there. We have children that work in large groups and, and that meets their needs and their learner profile better. We think about it very differently than a traditional school because we're not actually capacity constrained. So if we have demand, people on a wait list, we can actually create more schools, rent more spaces, open up. We're very intentional about putting together a really balanced, curated class. And so we want uh, every group of students to have uh, a mix of you know, kids that are really curious and kids that are high energy and kids that come from different backgrounds. It almost seems a little bit like homeschooling. Well, we like to think we're taking the best of homeschooling and then we're encouraging people to be part of a diverse group of children. A very important part of our education is learning how to take on the perspective of, other, of others. And so that might be, oh, this child is interested in horseback riding, so I'm going to learn more about horse, horseback riding. But it also just means that we all bring different sets of experiences from our families, and when we share that in a community, we become better citizens. We become more involved citizens, and we become more empathetic people. So, Well, thank you so much. Kellen, I really appreciate well, your time. Thank you. Thank you for coming.